Well, here's a brief introduction to using VoiceThread. It's pretty easy to do. Let me log out. So to register, it's just your name and a password. They won't ask for a credit card. It is free in a limited sort of way, but enough for this assignment. And then after you have your email and password account, sign in, you got into your information there. And then to make a new voice thread, it's pretty simple. As soon as this thing ruminates here, all you do is push on create and you can add media. In this case, you have a couple of Word docs. Um, one of them will highlight your discussion on the process of searching, and the other one will highlight your examples on the results of searching. So we get the media added here, and I'm going to just pick something up for fun. And let's say this is the result of your searching. Give it a title. And you've all been searching about potatoes. And so that you've uploaded your documents, Word, picture, whatever it is. And then the comment's pretty simple. If you want to comment by uh, voice, use the mic. Click on that. It'll give you a countdown, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then start talking. If you want to comment by text, click on that. Type your comment. Save. It's that simple. So if you have a mic, use your voice. And if you don't have a mic, you're welcome to key it in. Um, you could use your phone, though I've never done that. So if you need help with that, we can figure that out. So it's that simple. Upload a document, enter your comments, um, spoken preferably, or typed, and then submit the document. So after you're done with the document, as we are right now, then you can save it and then let me scroll on over here and then after you've done that click on share and then get your basic link and then copy that link and submit it into your assignment it's that simple